Hi everyone, this is Jim Egan, head of school Synapse School with a Friday update. It's December. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah for those who are celebrating Hanukkah. I know uh, we're deep into that holiday. Uh, some of our students here were celebrating today as well. So I hope that's been enjoyable to our families out there who are celebrating Hanukkah. Uh, today's update is um, important as always. Uh, I will say today was an interesting day for me. It was a day where one of our students uh, steps in as head of school. Uh, a student was ahead for a day. It's a, it's a spring benefit item uh, the, the uh, families uh, often put in for. And so we had a middle school student today acting as head of school. It's a great day for me to um, sort of step back and say, hey, don't ask me. Uh, if you've got a question, student or faculty, talk to uh, talk to the student in charge. So that was really fun. Uh, we had a, an assembly this morning that uh, she kicked off on uh, winter trivia uh, that was put on by uh, Mark, uh, uh, or excuse me, Michelle, uh, her, her uh, advisory in the middle school. I was watching in Mark's advisory, which is the most spirited bunch of kids in this contest around trivia. And I have to say, our middle school head, Stephanie, um, she is ruthless uh, and her group of kids, I think, won the trivia contest. It was a lot of fun this morning uh, and I got to sort of take a step back and uh, observe it more than anything else. Okay, so some news going on. We have a vaccine clinic tomorrow. It is clinic number two. So if you came to the first clinic and you wanna receive your second shot tomorrow on campus, our campus will be open and hosting the clinic Please read the emails, please read the newsletter about what you will need or um, when you should be there. I think it's going to simply mimic the, uh, the first clinic. Uh, so read uh, and um, watch for those messages. Um, cue cartridges and testing. Uh, many more issues have been coming up in terms of the tech around Q, whether it's the reader or the cartridge um, or the cartridges themselves. Uh, we've just had some tech issues. So use your cartridges sparingly, certainly use them when we tell you to use them, and be mindful of um, how you are going about your testing with your children in the morning because we don't have an unlimited supply and we have enough to get us to the new year, uh, but that's about it. Uh, some people have asked me about testing going into the new year, certainly with the new variant uh, emerging. We're thinking about it. I'm reaching out to members of our COVID task force and our doctors as usual. Uh, it's too early to tell if we will need to pivot from our current plan. Right now we're doing two times a week testing, which is acting like a gating mechanism. Like that's the strategy. Uh, we will have to see what the strategy is in January. Certainly, as the majority of our students are vaccinated, if not all of them or most all of them, and, and all our staff, all the adults are vaccinated. What does that mean? We don't know yet. So we're watching this very carefully like uh, you are as well. And uh, lastly, the next two to three weeks, right? We're, we're in between breaks. It's always an interesting time in schools. Uh, I, I want all of us to be mindful of the context we're working within. Certainly we have the pandemic and the recent news around the new variant, but the holidays are wonderful for many of us, but not so wonderful for a lot of us too. And so this time of year can be difficult for kids, difficult for families, diff difficult for staff too. So for the next two to three weeks, I've told our teachers to really take care of themselves so they can take care of others, right? We, we are seeing our staff doing that. I'm very proud of them. They have to put on their oxygen masks first before they can put on the oxygen masks of those uh, sitting next, next to them to think of uh, this in, in terms of an airplane metaphor. Um, so I want you to do the same thing at home. Take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Uh, we are really excited about the holidays ahead, um, but you know certainly things that we're doing here to mitigate stress is to make sure we're not making any big decisions right now. So we're just not gonna do that. We're not gonna make any big life decisions for Synapse uh, before the new year. And um, typically people, as well as schools start to power down into the new year, right? There's less sunlight, less time outdoors. This is just the normal course of events uh, and the cycle of the year and the cycle of life. And so what we'll be focusing on for the next two or three weeks is making sure that your kids are acquiring those, those skills necessary, particular, particularly with numbers, 
right? Mathematics, computation. Typically, also, we're focusing on reading and writing, so letters, numbers and letters matter. But I think most important, um, I'm telling staff to, to make sure that they love your children, uh, parents. Like, that's why we're really here, to really know your kids uh, and do what's right for them individually. And I think we can do a really good job of that here at Synapse due to our foundation of SEL. We're the first school to build a, a, a K-8 on top of a foundation of SEL, right? Our immersive social and emotional learning curriculum and um, value set and culture really matters, as does being a K-8. We're small. Uh, K-8s are able to really focus on children in the proper age and stage that they are in. And so our middle school kids are surrounded by teachers who are also working within a K-8 context, meaning they're working with elementary school teachers, not high school teachers, they're not looking up to the high school and trying to push ahead. That's not happening here. That allows us to take care of your kids and really love them. And so I'm proud uh, of that aspect of our school and we will focus on that as we head into the holidays. Okay, happy Hanukkah, and I will see some of you at the clinic tomorrow, and I'll see a lot of you next week. Take care.